For decades, Buford has been home to the most decorated football program in the state of Georgia. The Wolves have captured 22 region championships and 13 state titles in the last 30 years. All time, those numbers are even higher. During that unprecedented era of dominance, the home for the Wolves has been Tom Wrighton Stadium. Built in 1990, the stadium has hosted countless great games, highlights, and memorable moments for the green and gold. For opponents, it's mostly been a house of horrors. The Wolves have won more than 90% of their games in Tom Brighton Stadium over the past 35 years. I think there's a little bit of mystery about visiting teams when they come in Tom Brighton too because we won so many big games and because of who we are and we think that works to our advantage too in, in a lot of big games. And you know you have different years, you have different groups of kids, but one thing about this place that never changes is the support that the, the, the community brings on a Friday night. Uh, it is, is, is unmatched, in my opinion, uh, of a lot of stadiums around this area. Of course, Tom Wrighton wasn't always home for Buford. Prior to the stadium's construction in 1990, the Wolves played home games at the Old City Field off South Hill Street. Ed Cochran coached the team from 1973 to 1991, leading the Wolves to their first state title in 1978. He said the growth of the community and the program was what led to the decision to build Tom Wrighton Stadium. The, the first high school that I, when I came here, was on Hill Street. And uh, the uh, Board of Education, City Commissioners, uh, uh, we outgrew that school uh, and, and we built the high school uh, down on Highway 13, just in front of the old high school. So we were there for several years, but we still had the same football field. And uh, then uh, as the school was growing and so forth, uh, the, the talks of uh, building the school at present site here, uh, you know, came into play and in, uh, the stadium and uh, uh, things just moved along. Cochran had spent decades building Buford into a local powerhouse and he made sure to bring part of the program's identity over from the old field to the new stadium when it opened in the form of the iconic bell tower that has stood at the corner of the stadium to this day. I think the bell originally was at the school uptown and it was moved to the uh, uh, old football field, we'll call it, over on Hill Street. And uh, every time that a score was made, the bell was rung. And uh, uh, after a road trip come back, we had a victory. The uh, community knew that the uh, when they heard the bell rung, that we was victorious that night. And uh, the players getting off the bus, they, uh, they would actually, a few of them would race each other to see who would uh, be the one to ring the bell. While Cochran said many missed the old field, the improvements of Tom Wrighton Stadium were evident from the minute it opened. You know, to be honest with you, it felt like we had died and went to heaven because we, we had a, a, a practice field. Uh, our, our game field was used for games. Uh, we had a, a, a track, you know, that uh, we could use. And uh, it, it's, again, like we died, went to heaven. Cochran would coach the first two seasons Buford played in Tom Brighton Stadium in 1990 and 91. Four years later, Dexter Wood would arrive on scene and it wouldn't take him long to take the Wolves to new heights. He won Buford's second ever state title in 2001, starting a run of dominance that has continued into the modern day. And, of course, he had his share of memorable moments in Tom Wrighton Stadium. Well, I guess I go back to the very start. In 1995, my first season here, we opened the season. My first game ever at Buford as the head football coach with Tequila. At that time, Decula and North Cornette were on our schedule and they were our rivals, obviously so close by. And uh, on that particular night, we just played an unbelievable game and it was a great kickoff to the Dexter Wood era to beat our rival Decula in the opening game of his tenure. In 1999, we'd come off a disappointing season, but we were opening the season with a defending, I believe they were defending state champions, or at least they were ranked number one, Lincoln County, during Larry Campbell's heyday. And on that particular night, we upset them. And uh, it was just a great game. We played so well to open that season. And in my mind, that's when we began our run as one of the dominant football programs in the state. And then the state championship games here. Uh, 
In 02, we played GAC, our region rival for the state championship game here. And uh, that was the first state championship contest in Tom Ryden Stadium. And, and then the following year, uh, we were preseason ranked number one with a lot of our good players back. And we get to the finals again, and again it's here against Charlton County, who was a very tough opponent. And we played maybe the best game in my tenure here. And in a state championship game, we beat a good Charlton County team like 31 to three. And uh, so those, those what, three or four games particularly stand out in my mind. While Wood was roaming the sidelines, several additions and upgrades were made to the stadium, including a video board. It was that video board that sparked an idea for Wood that would go on to create a tradition and moniker for Tom Wrighton Stadium that has stood for decades. In the history and tradition of Buford football, as tonight we step once again into glory. It started with a feeling. And I said, let's, let's create somewhat of a, a motivation highlight tape at the beginning of the game in pregame warm-ups, like at seven o'clock every Friday night for 7.30 games. And uh, we found some music that talked about our dream and we're trying to grow this program. And, and, and the, the, the song is called Glory Land. And uh, so every Friday night at seven o'clock, this four or five minute highlight video tape called Glory Land comes up here. And it's a highlight video of all the key great plays in our history and tradition. But you ought to see our stands. Stand up and sway and sing. Our players will stop and take a knee and they'll watch Glory Land. And it's become such a tradition. And I get a kick out of it because I'll sit down there and Gloryland comes on and that visiting team's down here and that Gloryland video comes on and you'll catch them peeking up at that thing. And uh, the more they look at that, I say, oh, we got them. <laughs> they bought into Gloryland. <laughs> Every Buford head coach to win a state title with the Wolves has coached them in Tom Ryden Stadium. Ed Cochran, Dexter Wood, Jess Simpson, and up to the team's current head coach, Bryant Appling. Appling was hired by Wood as an assistant in 2004 and got his turn as head coach in 2019. Since then, he has won three state titles, racked up more wins than Tom Wrighton himself, and created his own memories in the stadium. The first, and maybe the most memorable, came in his first big home game as head coach against Archer in 2019. Pressure was on the first year, and I wanted to, you know, for us to start the season off right. We were 4 0, ranked, I don't know what it was exactly, in 5A, and they were ranked high in 7 A. So it was a big time atmosphere. GPTV's here, you know. So we're trying, you know, it's a tough game, it's hot, you know, we're, we're battling back and forth. The Wolves and Tigers went to overtime. Buford scored to seemingly tie the game, but Coach App decided to go for two and the win. And the play call he chose was one with lore of its own. Uh, 40 Nerden. So Gene Nerden. after Devin Nerden, uh, Coach Gene Nerden's son, um, played for us, went to Air Force. You know, he passed away because of uh, a motorcycle accident. A little bit after um, his first couple years of college, he came back home and um, you know passed away from that. So it was like a you know you know type of play we run with our tight end, and then he you know, we named it after him. So kind of you know the the, the number system and, and, and thrown at that guy. We always named it after the guy that we run it for every year. We stop one once you know just to pay homage to him. We, we named it that from from that point on. It was kind of an anniversary of when he passed, and then you know uh, the way we won it on TV with a, with a you know crazy call. Just yeah, you know, the joke is right now. Anytime we have a big game and we went on the last play, I run on the field, but I, I kind of ran on the field just because of the excitement of the play call, the situation, kind of vindication of, of you know a year from that last you know bad loss we had the year before against them. There was, was a lot going on that night, but it was, it was another one of those special nights. There was a lot of people in the house and. You know, getting the kids to storm the field. We don't like to do that around here. You know, we want to, you know, respect our opponents. But sometimes with high school kids, you can't control the, the, the atmosphere. You can't control their emotion. And, and, you know, it was fun trying to get them off the field. That's a fact. With a new stadium under construction on Buford Highway, this is the final season Buford will play its home games at Tom Ryden Stadium. The playoffs are underway, meaning every game played from now to the end of the season could be the last time the Wolves take the field in glory land. Just the end of an era of, of, of you know, Friday nights and, and you know, 
barbecue smoke, you know, coming across the sideline, running out of the tunnel and running, running through the side. And, uh, you know, first whistle on the kickoff, it's, 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 a, it's a special place. It's certainly going to be not neglected and, and forgotten. We'll still be coming through here for certain events and activities that go on. But, yeah, there will always be a memory once we walk out of here for the last time, that memories that, that our people will forever remember here.